what's going on guys welcome back to my channel first of all yes i'm sat in my dressing gown it's a sunday and i'm having a chill day so don't judge me with that being said on today's video i'm just going to be fulfilling one of the requests made by you, one of you subscribers who asked me to make a video on how i taught tux to play fetch now i'm also aware that a couple of other subscribers have asked certain questions which i'm intending to make videos on but um there's also a couple of videos that i personally want to make myself which i which i really do believe um, a lot of you a lot of you guys will find useful but i thought making the fetch video is going to be a lot easier and a lot quicker so i'm just getting that one out of the way now before i get started just bear in mind i'm going to be doing a voiceover and i'm going to be talking you through what i've done with tux I'm not sure if any of you guys have seen it already, one of the old videos I made when I did my first vlog going to London. The, one of the highlights was I did teach to play fetch fetch down there. Well, to be honest, I can't take the credit for it. It was my brother-in-law and he was, just, he was just messing about with Tux and taught him to play fetch. So if you can see this video here, um, it's, it's on obviously it's on one of my videos. So if you want to click on the playlist on the vlogs, you'll see that I, I taught Tux how to play fetch, but it was only briefly. So in this video, I'm going to be speaking about it in a lot more detail. Let's get straight into it. First of all, guys, you want to make sure that you get the right sort of ball. Now, um, this red one here, you can see, and this green one are both rubber textures. I've tried using tennis balls, but literally he demolishes them. It goes through them, so it was a waste of time. It was a waste of money. I also considered using cricket balls, but they're too hard. So I don't obviously want to cause any damage or hurt him. So like I said, use the right sort of balls. The red one is a bit smaller than the green one, but that's literally just for him to play with. But the green one, you can obviously, can you see, if you've seen the ridges on it, you can stuff little treats in it or you know things that he might enjoy eating. So it's a little challenge for him to get into it. So it just depends on what your preference is, which one you prefer. Personally, I prefer the green one, so I can put some treats in it. And if he gets the treat out, then it's a little win-win for him but as well as that it's a lot bigger so it's he gets he gets a bit of grip of it when it's in his mouth now watch this i've thrown the ball and as he's coming back towards me he doesn't stop he ends up running straight past just like he used to do at the beginning when i first taught him how to play fetch but i learned a trick if i crouch down and show him that i'm on his level he comes towards me as you can see here he's coming towards me and i ask him to drop it which he does immediately i start praising him so as soon as he does what you want him to do and he drops the ball, praise him, reward him with strokes, some love, and then you get ready to do it again. So round two, you just do the same process. Sometimes it's going to take you maybe six, seven, eight, even more times to get it right. Um, as you can see from this clip here, I'm going to fast forward it, but you'll see that I'm repeating the same process over and over again until he starts getting it right but on certain occasions he might be cheeky so you have to correct him which i'll show you an example of in a minute so for this demonstration i'm going to be using his e-collar and the reason for that is because on this particular day i hadn't i haven't taken him out today so he was full of energy and I knew that he's going to be distracted by the environment we was in because I took him to a new place and I knew if people were going to walk past, he's going to get distracted. So I need him to be focused. The e-collar, I've not got a shock one, so it doesn't shock him. It's not it's not a shocking one, so don't worry, guys. I'm not using one of them. And it's, a, it's just basically a vibration one. So it's got high vibration. It's got a low vibration. Um, but I'll be speaking more in detail about that when I make the new video on leads and collars. But watch here. In this, in this instance, when I'm telling him to come to me because he's getting distracted because there's people yeah. finishing work. Um, can you see that? I was pressing the button and he came straight to me. He's looking at other people at the moment, but at least he came back to me because I'm keeping him focused. He's not got the ball in his mouth, but he came back. and That's the main part. So I hope you guys have found this video useful. As always, I'd really appreciate the support if you'd subscribe to my channel if you're new to this page. And also leave a thumbs up hit the bell for any future notifications until next time guys over and out